Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video. It's beautiful channel, it's a beautiful day. We're just making videos after videos, and it's good. It's nice. I really like this. It's fun right now because we're coming somewhere, we're getting somewhere, and we're soon kind of finished with the attack and defend. At least you can play around with this now. Uh, if we finish this, we can balance it out and stuff. But uh, but yeah, I removed the system CLS here for now. We'll try it. We'll try it later. I had it here. What I can do is I can just comment that out for now. Uh, now I want to just do attack. That's what I want to do. I want to do attack. And in, in case 1, that's attack. That's our attack case. Attack. Escape. Defend. And then, what is this? Item. We'll come to these two later. Attack is, is good. So, attack. What we're going to do is we're just going to roll a die. And it's going to be 50-50, basically, if we hit or not. And then we have the accuracy thingy, which is going to help us basically uh, to to hit or not to hit. So we'll see how that works. But for now, we'll just have it 50-50. So and attack coin toss return uh, end conditions enemies. Battle, battle. What would you call it? Battle variables. Battle battle variables. I guess I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is just enemies right here. So battle variables. So we need some variables here to keep track of our stuff. We need to do a void attack roll, or not a void int attack roll equals zero. Int defend roll equals zero just so we don't have to create these in the switch case now we'll add these as we need but in attack we'll do attack roll equals rand from 1 to 100 plus 1 all right so we'll just do attack attack roll it's 100 plus 1 and then we'll add all that accuracy stuff in here from the player if we can it's gonna help us to hit more or less and then we're gonna do some minus defense stuff from the enemy and uh, and yeah that's gonna be basically what we're gonna do so attack if attack roll is greater than 50 then hit else miss so just a simple simple thing um, I guess I can use some type of thing with accuracy and dexterity instead of putting it in here uh, I will figure that out we'll figure that out later so if I hit we're gonna see out hit new line new line new line new line so you hit and we're gonna see out the uh, we're gonna do so if I attack I'm gonna have to attack a specific enemy from these so I'm gonna have to choose which enemy I want to hit all right I'm gonna have to choose which enemy and for that we're gonna have to copy paste this whole sin fail thing and that's gonna be kinda annoying it's gonna be kinda big but we have to do it so attack roll so the first thing you're gonna do is select enemy and that's gonna be this whole thing uh, not all this basically here it's just gonna say select enemy and then here we're gonna have a little for loop for uh, enemies dot size see out uh, I and then this enemies at position I dot get name so we're gonna have to get get enemy 
enemy. Let's go into enemy. Let's make some more get stuff. Uh, let's do get inline and get HP const return this HP and then return HP max get HP max HP max max what else do they have they have a level um, get level I guess get level that's like the stuff you need to do and then we're just gonna print that out in event get HP uh, level enemies position I dot get level get level get the HP stuff oh god fuck sorry didn't mean to get annoyed but I'm kind of annoyed at this stupid fat fingering and then get HP max because it's also tedious HP max and then of course I want to kind of a thing here and then HP just like that get HP max and then a new line just like that so that will print out all the enemies and then see out new line then choice, choice, if it's greater than enemies.size, greater or equal to, or less than zero, we got a faulty input, and we'll print out whatever we had again. So, select enemy. Whoops. So select enemy choice and then choice. Boom. Uh, attack roll. Now after we selected the enemy, it should be fine because it shouldn't be bigger or less or whatever. So hit enemies at position choice dot take damage character dot get damage get damage character character let's see do we have a get damage thing no we just have a inline const int get damage this is going to be a const return turn rand this damage max minus this damage min I think that's how it is I mean we're gonna do that and then we're just gonna go mm, enemy yeah I think so so we'll see how that works uh, event get damage uh, int damage int damage zero oh shit what happened okay what no there shouldn't be a problem now I think it's because of this I think damage equals to character dot damage get damage take damage and this is so we can print that number out what the hell happened dude 
I don't understand this. How does that happen? Well, there wasn't a problem, so I'm, I'm guessing it's just the compiler screwing around. And okay, well, it's ambiguous apparently. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Got damage, see out damage. Damage, damage. New line, new line. And if you miss, we're just going to see out miss. See out. missed so there we go okay so if that happens then we can attack the enemy travel travel okay so we have an enemy we're gonna attack we got a bunch of enemies let's say six Okay, so it's system CLS, but that's okay. Zero, hit, damage four, attack. Uh, oh, wow, so it, it added some age. <laughs> okay, that's great. It added. So, yeah, we want, don't want to do that. We want to do plus damage min. Because we want from something to something. Plus damage min. So there we go. Let's try this again. And we gotta fix that system CLS thing. Uh, let's do that first so I don't screw myself. Uh, do this. Mm. Let's see. Surge. And then go to travel. Attack. We have a few enemies. Let's attack enemy one. Missed. Attack enemy one. Missed attack enemy one, hit damage eleven, and then attack. Okay, it's at zero. Enemy zero, damage five. One. Let's. Oh wow, faulty input. Okay, good. So uh, attack one. Okay, so if the enemy is dead, all right, we'll fix all that later, as we keep working. We've done twelve minutes. I need to make a little shorter video as well, but uh. But what we could do is we could, if the enemy dies, so here, take get damage, enemy choice, take damage. Alright, take damage. Uh, and then, case 2, defend, and then enemy's turn. In here, we'll already be over that stuff, so, uh, enemies got remove choice if it's dead if enemies at position choice that is alive we'll remove it after it takes damage and if that happened uh, see out enemy died Defeat, defeated. New line, new line. And that'll be, I guess that should be after the damage to make it look good. Okay, so damage, damage, enemy defeated. Before we remove it, we'll say character dot gain exp enemies at choice. Choice dot dot get get exp. So that's how much I'm gonna gain. See out and first of all, we're gonna have to make a new integer here. Int gain exp zero. 
we'll go down to where we had our gain exp so gain exp equals gain exp equals this and then gain exp c out exp gained gain exp new line new line and that boom okay so let's see if this works now this is the final thing we want to do wow what are you doing with me right now why are you doing this to me right now that didn't happen earlier wait I missed somewhere I missed something Gain XP is cool. Oh, there we go. That's that's the problem. So uh, let's go ahead and try this. Surge, and then let's do travel to travel travel. Oh my God, we're just getting puzzles. Wow. Okay, so attack, attack enemy zero, missed. Attack, attack enemy one, damage five, attack, attack enemy one, missed, attack, attack enemy one, missed. Okay, so enemy defeated, damage ten, speed gain hundred, attack, attack enemy one, attack, attack enemy one, attack, attack enemy one, attack, attack enemy one. Let's just kill all these enemies. Uh, zero. There isn't any one anymore. Attack. Attack enemy zero. Attack. Attack enemy zero. I'm sorry about this, guys. This is confusing, but... So I hit the enemy, and then we gained a bunch of EXP because we came out of that alive. How much EXP do we have? 599. Wow. So I'm just going to level up. Add that to zero, level up, add that to zero, level up, add some vitality, and then level up. No, I can't level up. So let me go to character sheet. I have 11 EXP out of 484. I'm level four. I have a bunch of strength and stuff. And if I travel again, I can gain more EXP. I can get into attacks again. Oh, wow, this is weird. I don't think there was I think we got zero enemies so that's kind of weird um, yeah that's kind of strange uh, where we add enemies plus one so there we go so that's that's better but yeah guys and girls thanks for watching I hope this taught you something I hope we got a you know further forward in this and I can I can add this into other functions and make it a little cleaner so yeah Thanks for watching, take care, and keep learning. I'll see you in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.